Hi and welcome to a new video here on Accor Germany. Today I have for you a Bass Armagnac from the independent bottler Len Cantada. It's a Armagnac from the domain Kütxan from the year 995. Enjoy the review. The domain Kütxan is actually not the real name of the domain. The reason is the family doesn't want to see their name on the bottling, on a label, so they want to keep it secret, private. And then Cantada decided then to use a, well, a fantasy name because Kütxan is a small village close to the town Casaubon. And so it's a yeah, fantasy name, domain Kütxan. And yeah, I have uh, the picture here from the from the domain, which was sent to me by Vincent from Len Cantada. I will show you it here, but I cannot really tell you anything more about the domain. To Len Cantada, I already made a, a review to a bottling from them, and I will show you the link here. So if you are interested to know a little bit more about Len Cantada, you can have a look there. I don't want to go in further details here in this video. And so I would say, let's start with our review and tasting. First, the presentation of the bottle. As you can see, or maybe you are familiar with the bottles already from Len Cantada, they have a very unique style. They always use this orange color as their yeah, main color. And the label is always the same, you have the name from the domain and on the bottom you have some information about the bottling. Additionally, they have here a piece from the cask and there is the, the vintage of this ammoniac written and to fix this all they use a wax seal with the um, coat of arms from Len Cantada. So the design is very unique and you always recognize if you see them on a shelf somewhere, you know it's a bottling from Len Cantada. Facts and numbers to the bottle. So it was distilled 1995, bottled 2023. We have 50 centiliters as usual at Len Cantada. Alcohol by volume is 40.1%. It's a limited edition of 401 bottles. They used 100% Baco grapes. It's an Armagnac from the Bass Armagnac. And the barrel number was or is 13. So far the details. Now we can start with our tasting. First, as usual, a look into the color of the Armagnac. For me, the Armagnac has a very nice forest honey color, so the, the dark honey. And yeah, I would say let's see what the aromas of the Armagnac show us. First, caramel. Caramel is very present. So I think that's a big advantage now for the, for the cask aromas to become more present. And yeah, the caramel note is very, very nice. Very nice caramel note. But I also have something like a very ripe pineapple, maybe a little bit too ripe, but a pineapple I have in here. And maybe also something like um, currants, strawberry. Some gingerbread. And there's also a nutty note inside, maybe something like a cashew nut. Yeah, nose is very nice. So, santé. Yeah, 
Very good. And the pellet. Huh? Uh, there's also a rancio now in the finish already, but I think it was also between the pellet and finish there, there was a rancio. It's very interesting because the ammoniac is not that old, but he has a rancio. This damp cellar taste, oh, so many aromas, but on the pellet, let's come to the pellet first. Mm, cherries, grapefruit, also the caramel again present in the pal on the palate. Something like uh, the cranberry, kiwi, and yeah, also something like a, a nutty note again, like a like a walnut maybe. Yeah, walnut is walnut. Yeah. Finish. As I mentioned, the rancio a little bit, also something from the cast, so some wood spices. Maybe also something like a, yeah, the nuts again is something more, like, but the finish more like a cashew nut again. So roasted or, or spiced cashew nuts. And also a coffee note. Well, so the finish is quite long for only 40% alcohol by volume which means that the cask maturation is very present very nice cask maturation yeah very nice Armagnac yeah great experience I really like the Armagnac it has a very low ABV but as I just mentioned the, the wood is present you have the spices from the wood so it it don't need the 45 or 50%. No, definitely not. It delivers the aromas and yeah, still still present here, the, the finish. Very nice. There are different vintages from Kutxan available. I also tried already. I think this is maybe the second or third Kutxan I try and they were all on a similar level, very good all. And yeah, there are so different Armagnacs available at Len Cantada. I really can recommend you to try different Armagnacs there. Um, that's, that's really a good way to discover a different kind of the Armagnac flavors and to find a, a style of Armagnac you really like. That's a, that's a perfect way. Point wise, 89 points, I think a very good result. Do you already had an Armagnac from Len Cantada? Maybe also a Kutxan or another one? Which do you like? Which were the ones you don't like that much? Would be very happy if you leave a comment uh, and share your experience you had. If you like to subscribe my channel here, I would be very happy if you do so. And thank you very much for watching the review. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.